We definitely need more riots so we can summon the next Caesar. I think it's going to summon the next Adolf, like what I said before. It's not going to summon the next Caesar. But, you know, I guess we'll find out. Look here. Three girls were killed by that kid in Southport. It's an act of violence that shattered the peace of the summer holidays in a seaside town. Three girls were killed. B.B. King, Elsie Dot Stankham and Elise Aguirre. However, 186,000 Palestinians have been killed, most of them are children. Do you see us burning every synagogue that supports the Israeli regime? Another fire, another night of chaos. Anti-immigration rioters attack a hotel in Rotherham. Do you see us holding innocent people responsible? Crowds clashing with police outside a hotel. People question marking it. I think that they're right. I, th I actually, I think that's a one-to-one. -one. Tell where immigrants are being housed. Yeah, you don't. We're coming in peace. And imagine our anger. Imagine how we feel every day in Chechnya, in Syria, Iraq, Palestine, Kashmir, Mali, Libya, everywhere. We see our children killed. We don't behave in a manner that you see these hooligans behaving in because they don't care for their girls. They're here for violence and they're here because they hate us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yep, it's us versus them. No, I, I think that the reason why, like, I, I got a lot of shit from this in my uh, in my YouTube comments the last time that I covered this. And I think it's it's fair for people to say that, like, I don't really live in the UK, so I can't really understand it. You want to say that, that's fine. Um, but I think that a lot of people in the UK are tired of having a bunch of people that don't look like them, that have a completely different culture, that are not assimilating into the UK's culture, living in their city, living in their country. That's the real reason. People might say it's because of religion, and part of it is because of religion, but that's not the whole thing. And I understand that they're not going to say that on camera because it sounds bad. But I think that's what's really going on. I do. And hey, hey, let's wait and find out. A Christian man born in Wales killed yeah. them girls. Axel Rudakabana is 17, British, born in Wales and of Rwandan heritage. Yeah. But who they're directing their anger at? They're directing it at Muslims only. Why? Yeah, because they, they it, from their mind, you're not supposed to be here and he's not supposed to be here. That's the reality. That's the reason why people are mad. That's it. And it, it's a bad thing to say. It's a bad thing to say. You shouldn't say it. But that's what they think. Why? Because their agenda is anti-Islam, straight up. This is our fucking country, not fucking theirs. I mean, you to save the kids. The children have been murdered. There's been a massacre on the street. They got the target. And I think also the entire thing has been exacerbated by the way that the government has, like, you know, there's that guy, that Kier, like, two tier Kier or something like that, where, like, the government treats the, uh, the immigrant population with more kind of like kid gloves than, like, the native population, I guess, basically, right? Uh, I think that's effectively what the criticism is. And it, the assumption is that the government is allowing them privileges and more leeway than it's giving to their actual citizens, right? And because of that, clearly, um, people are mad. And that has only made things worse. And again, like, I, I, I don't live there. I'm just simply explaining what I've read and what I've heard. My girls all over the country. Let's call a spade a fucking spade. It's like Russian roulette at this point. Which one's going to be next? No one questions why BLM went out. No one questions why Palestine went out. We're we did question when BLM went out. A lot of people were against that and it was bad. Burning down random, uh, random stores because you're mad about police brutality. Yeah, no, that was bad. They should have been arrested. And a lot of them were. Even the kids were stopping the boats, mm -hmm. we're closing the borders. Look That's... how mad we've all gone. This see, is real see, women. Yep. This is lionesses. This is the lion road. And I'm not racist, and I don't give a fuck what you say. Then who yep. the fuck is who the fuck's who? Like, Seven who... years old. I'm not racist. I'm concerned about. Yeah, exactly. The policies, policies that politicians put in place. Yeah. Stop the boats! Stop, Stop the boats! Stop the boats! Stop the boats! Stop the boats! They're calling us far right. 
We're not far right. We're all fathers and parents and children. There's immigrants. Are I don't think that it matters whether they're racist or not. I think that they're only one candidate normalizing being racist away from actually just saying that they're racist. I think that if the right candidate pops up and they're charismatic enough, uh, they'll just say, yeah, we're racist and we don't want them here anymore and we're going to kick them out. I think that's what'll happen. Coming in without paperwork, we're flying about the like ages, Poland? we don't know nothing about the, the backgrounds, and that's yeah, what I it's don't about. We don't want to like. be yeah, branded far going. right. You know, we're here for the right reasons. I want my kids to know I didn't stay silent. Leave our kids alone. Because like, what you can see here is that a lot of the people in this rally are still pushing and they're existing. You can see how a lot of the language and the things that they're saying exists inside of the Overton window that's been created by the culture. So like a lot of them are saying, I'm not racist, but, or I'm not thinking this, but I still think this, right? All it takes is one person to normalize breaking that window. And then, well, we saw what happened. What happens when whenever you do that? Yeah, we already saw that. Yeah, this is, this is what I said before about the Adolf, right? Like Trump did? Trump is nothing, bro. Like Trump, like no, that's that's nothing. Like Trump did do that for sure. But like this is way more extreme. About children that have lost their lives in this city and we're passionate about that up here. We're not racist. We've got Muslim friends. Our country has benefited from migration. However, it's just getting overwhelming. We're a very small island. It's become a security risk. Religion means fuck all, lads. I'm not asked. This is about people coming in. They could be Christians from Somalia or wherever. And the fucking wrongans. That's what it is. We're letting wrongans in. This is not religious. That's bollocks. Fucking bollocks. This is about the wrong ones, the letting in. You can be a Christian, you can be whatever. You're coming in, you've got no intention of fucking helping the country. You're here to cause trouble. You're here to... I do, generally, I do generally think that you can't have two forms of religious extremism in a country. Like, you can't have Christian extremism and Muslim extremism. Like, you can only have one. Take and thieve and steal. You're here to stay for nothing, so unfortunately, that's a no-no. There's 50,000 people here on, on an MI6 list, isn't there? Start with them, get rid of them, get rid of the people who are killing kids, raping kids, get rid of them. Stop the boats, kick them out. There's too many of you here. You just don't respect our country, you don't respect our religion. All you think about is Aisha, because she was nine years old. That's what you are all into. Oh, Aisha, she was Muhammad's bride. Uh, Muhammad, the prophet of Islam. Yeah, that's what he's talking about. I feel you. Listen, this is a message for George Soros. Yeah, Britain will never fall. We don't care how many globalists, yeah? George Soros, yeah? You globalist scumbags, yeah? Import as many of them as you want, yeah? Guess what? Christ will prevail, yeah? This world is so corrupt. Labour supposed to love the North I told West. you guys. I told you guys. We're going to have another fucking crusade if they keep this shit up. Oh, my God. Oh, no, bro. Like, oh, fuck. It's bad. Like, I wonder how, like, I mean, because as somebody who doesn't come from this culture, I wonder how it got this bad. I really do. Like, that's... Fuck. It's supposed to be for the working class. They've stabbed the real people who has got real concerns. They've stabbed a lot of us in the back. And we supposed to stand here and let everybody call us right wing and Nazis. I've got Asians in my family. I ain't racist one bit. What you I am see what I'm saying, right? About how they're still talking and using defensive language inside of the Overton window that's been created by the culture. You see how this is happening, right? Is there's always a justification for it? This is only one step away from not wanting or, or not needing a justification. It's actually very, very close. scared of this government we've now got two tier here coming on the news and having the audacity to call yeah. the general public far right i utterly condemn the far right thuggery we've seen this weekend i've seen all this coming no one wanted it we've tried to warn about it and i'm still going to try and warn about it i don't want to fight anybody we don't want wars with muslims I, I don't think it's a good idea attacking mosques at all i'm not a conservative either i'm not an anarchist i want a decent party that cares this is about again what I was saying, yeah, bro, like, it, it's, they are one candidate away. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. 
same as in the U.S. No, it, it, it's it, I don't think it's that bad. Yeah, I, I I don't I don't think it's that bad here. The people, that's all we want. Every person doesn't matter not where yet. you're from. Yeah, no. Okay, it's, so it's not. Tories weren't the answer. Labour wasn't the answer. Who is? I, I, I'm not a politician, and I'm thick as pig shit. But I can talk to people. I've never been to school. <laughs> I can only write my own name. But I've got an heart as big as a lion, and I'll stand there against anybody for the sake of our country. People need to wake up against Labour. These are the rats. We're not racist. We're scared. Everybody out there is not acting, and it's not on this street now. Get out there and act. Don't call yourself a man unless you're out here. Don't call yourself a man. Simple as that. You don't fight for your country. You don't yep. push back the invaders. You're not a man. If we don't fight now, it's, it's going to come to our kids having to fight and they're not going to win it. They're not going to win the, the fight. So I don't want the violence. We've got to try and do it peacefully. But this has to be the final. I, I guess he's like, and, and you can see like this is soft language, right? Is like the soft language, like he's talking about like, you know, replacement theory. Like, obviously, you know, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to come in from other countries and then they're going to displace us and then they're going to control. Like, that's clearly what the implication of what's being said is. Well, where the, the, there's a clear message sent to those in charge that you either step up or you step I, I, I'm just explaining what's happening, right? Um, I, I hope you guys appreciate the way that I try to cover this stuff because, like, obviously, like, I'm probably saying and, and saying things in a way that a lot of people won't want to say them. But I just just know that I am trying to approach this in the most authentic way possible. Right? I mean, your take on this is clueless. Let's see about that. What, what do you think that I'm not taking seriously about this or listening to about this? There's 20 years of context about grooming gangs in the media. The police covered up, which is hugely important. What does that have to do with what I'm saying? And didn't I cover that already with the way that the police, there's an understanding that the police have not been treating people equally with like the two tier system? I, I literally said that, didn't I? Your take is accurate if you assume this is the majority of the UK, which it is not. I don't think it needs to be the majority. I think in a lot of cases, like, um, like I, I would say pretty much almost all revolutions aren't fought by the majority of people. They're all usually fought by like a small minority of people. Adolf had 30%. Yeah. Like, I don't know about, but what, what about Bolsheviks? Bolsheviks, uh, resolution, uh, re fuck, Bolshevik rev revolution. How much was that? Like, was it 5%? It was a lot less, right? It's extremely minimal. Uh, I don't know about Cuba. Uh, I'm not sure about the numbers for that either. So, yeah, no, I don't think you need a majority. And I think that's been proven by history. American Revolution was under 10%. Yeah. Look at Poland. They don't have this problem. Uh, I don't know what Poland's doing. I, I, actually, I do know what Poland's doing, but I don't know like anything else. So do you, do you see what I'm saying, right? Because like, I, I, like, I feel like I talked about that, didn't I? Like, didn't I talk about what he's bringing up here? Like, I, I literally said, like, yeah, this has been going on. It's been an issue, like, for sure. Yeah. It's the police aren't treating them the same. Yeah, absolutely. Plus, similar riots happened either one year or two years ago about Hindus and Muslims fighting each other, but they weren't considered racial by the police. Okay, so yeah, again, the police are painting things in a bad way. Yeah, exactly. That's the whole point. You mentioned that? Yeah. Not by word, but it's implied to the two-tier system. Yes, I understand. Beside now, I was in Southport on Tuesday. Police tried to keep apart a group of far-right protesters and a much larger anti-fascist counter-protest. The media absolutely, absolutely corrupt. They lied. There wasn't a single member of the EDL there. They weren't a member of the far right there. Yeah, and I think this is another thing that's radicalized a lot of people, is that people feel like the media is trying to push like a, uh, like a, I guess like a, like globalist agenda. I think that's literally what they say, right? And they're pushing a globalist agenda. And because of that, they don't trust the media either. They are. Well, regardless of whether you think they are or not, I, I said you know, with the Kamala Harris uh, picture with the airplane, does the truth matter? Not really. There was little girls, older women. There was older men. There was young men. Middle aged. You men. define globalist. Uh, globalist. What I'm defining that as is like basically. Um, people that want to have all the cultures in the country in the world like kind of homogenized 
and like cultures and races in the world homogenized. I think whenever people are talking about globalism, that's fundamentally what they're talking about. And then erasing existing cultures and then making them more congruent with like a greater world culture. Standardized, yeah. And, and again, I'm not, uh, the, you, I'm not arguing for this. I'm just explaining what it means. And, and what I think a lot of people think it means. It's not a real thing. Okay, well, that doesn't matter. Why would that matter? Outraged at what the government's allowing to happen to us. What the government's allowing this cancer yeah. to do to us. This cancer that's grown within our nation. We need to stop it. My children were abused by social services. And Merseyside police have covered it up. They've got a hidden grooming gang that won't be released to the public. Defund the BBC. The media are the lies. The media yep. is the virus. And they did this to themselves. The media did it to themselves. Because they're not releasing like photos of people and they report on things disproportionately. This is what I've said before that I think the media is fundamentally the enemy of the people. Uh, it really is. Much As like the media it protests caused a lot in the of United this States, themselves. a line of riot police who sustained minor injuries throughout the course of the day and had I, formed. I, I, I think the real thing that radicalizes people isn't really the media or the government doing it. It's the media and the government doing it in concert with each other with a seemingly uh, like they're effectively working together. Right. They feel like the media and the government are like, uh, you know, conspiring together to work against them. That's what's really radicalized a lot of people. Sort of a demilitarized zone between nationalist stop the boats protesters yeah. and an equally sized counter protest of mostly left leaning Liverpool locals who showed up in person to confront a mob of who they believe to be far right racist protesters. Yep. They're all in, Brad. Yeah. They need a to dentist. They're not interested in like. I mean, to be fair. I mean, it, it, it uh, to be fair, I mean, like, he really, I mean, fuck. Yeah, they need a dentist. They're not interested in, like, children that were killed in Southport. They just want to cause a fight. We're a multicultural city, a city yeah. of sanctuary, and I hope they get lost. What do you think the solution is? Throw them all into the sea. That's what the chant says. Solution is? Yeah. Well, to get rid of capitalism and have a social society, and then these people would be catered for, and not blaming it on fucking immigrants and refugees and what have you. They've obviously got issues because they've been let down, no dentists, no doctors, no housing. Right, but that's not, that's not immigrants or, or, or refugees. Well, that, that's, he's exactly right. You know, people, they see some, like this woman, you know, that, 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 that woman who was like screaming, right? Like with like the orange teeth, um, you know, I'm sure she's thought to herself, if they hadn't given money to these immigrants, they could give me money and I could fix my teeth. Of course they're going to think that. Obviously, they're going to think that. It's common sense. Oh, that's the fault of this fucking government. Despite this yeah. frontline tension, it appeared that the vast majority of counter-protesters weren't actually interested in having a direct confrontation with English nationalists, and instead had organized their own rally at nearby St. George's Hall in support of migrants and refugees. Yeah. Refugees are welcome here! Oh, someone's just got married. Oh. <laughs> See, this is Liverpool, and the far right is trying to threaten that. Mm -hmm. A quick explanation, what happened in Southport? Obviously, I mean, there was a horrible attack in which three children lost their lives. What happened yeah. since then was a, a massive lie about the identity of that attacker, which was, you know, led by the likes of Tommy Robinson. Well, it wasn't oh. really a lie. The problem with the attacker is the attacker was black. That's the reason. It's not about whether they were an immigrant or a Muslim or not. That's the reason. It wasn't a lie. Yeah, I mean... He was a Christian? Yeah, he it, no, apparently so my understanding about the attacker was that he was not a Muslim. He was a Christian. He was born there. He was a citizen, but his parents were immigrants. Is that true? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. The murdering and raping and pillaging 1,400 Jews. Look how confident they've become across the entire West. Of Lawrence Sparks, of other far-right people yeah. online. So an undocumented migrant Nope. Decided to go into a Taylor Swift dance class today and stab six little girls. Also, the likes of Nigel Farage is complicit. We will only stop this if we start deporting people that come illegally. This led people in Southport, um, you know, well, racist. And the problem is that Nigel Farage talking about people that show up illegally and deporting them, 
it's not a surprise that it's radicalized people when deporting illegal immigrants is seen as a far right position. You see what I'm saying? It's like you like you tell people that and somebody's like, well, wait a minute, they're illegal immigrants. Why are they supposed to be here? And if you make people live with their mind in a cage and they can't say something that seems completely fucking obvious, then guess what? They're going to go fucking crazy. And that's what's going to happen. That's what's happening right now. Yeah, it's illegal. Why are you even here? Well, that's what I'm saying, right? It's a reasonable position. Yeah, of course. Half of England are like this? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, like, they colonize half the world. No wonder it's a mixed population of the UK. <laughs> Only half? Some far-right people to feel emboldened to come out on the street and to attack a, a mosque that had no yeah. connection to the identity of the attacker. I think it's also important to say that even if the attacker was a Muslim, was a Muslim or a migrant or the things yeah. that they were lying about, it still does not license the far right attacks on communities we've seen around Britain. Um, so people around the country today are actually protesting. I think, you know, people here feel a part mm -hmm. of something bigger. In Manchester, they got pushed back this morning. In Liverpool, we pushed them back outside the mosque last night. People who yeah. are here today are proud to stand in a multicultural Britain and, you know, the far right's trying to threaten that. I don't think there is anything special about what's happening in the UK. I, I think it's a reflection of what's happening internationally yeah. in that you've got a crisis of capitalism, living standards for, you know, in society going downhill, just a general crisis of the system. Far right groups, obviously what they do is they latch on to the, the deep anger that exists. They build in the most impoverished areas of the country and they basically try and divert that anger away from class struggle against the bosses and against, uh, well... He brings up a lot of good points and I think that he's right about a lot of this stuff. Uh, I think this is exactly what's happened, uh, is that... I, I don't find it to be a coincidence. This is a conspiracy, okay? Conspiracy. Uh, I don't think it's a coincidence that after Occupy Wall Street, all of the identity politics like and the argumentation around it and the talking about it went up like massively. I think that it was intentionally done by like elites to try to get people hating each other rather than hating the elites. That's what I think has happened. It's common practice. Yeah, exactly. Tories and now Labour and they they rile a lot of very young people up young men up with very toxic ideas and they send them out to go and attack migrant communities you know that's a real threat we have to take seriously Absolutely. and if the left doesn't have a convincing alternative that's based around mass struggle that's based around fighting back in that kind of way the far right yeah. seeps in you've seen it in France I, th I think the end game of uh, these far right groups is obviously to just create a society where there's mass expulsions uh, of, of, of migrant workers. I mean, that's exactly what I think they want. That's exactly what they want. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like now again, uh, I think that they are probably like, again, one candidate or maybe five years of uh, radicalization away from saying it. But I think that's fundamentally what they want. Yeah. We need to tell those people the alternative march. We need to get truth through to them. Somebody says it's a... Uh, sorry, I keep pausing. I apologize. Uh, the real conflict is caste conflict, class conflict, but the media made it culture and race conflict. Well, I think there's also a culture conflict. There absolutely is. I don't think that all cultures are compatible at all. Uh, I think especially extreme versions of cultures are not compatible. And that's important. You know, it's all right, Steve. We're suffering the rages of capitalism. Mm -hmm. We're suffering the rages of... Well, you know, if Tony Blair didn't go and cause a fucking war in Iraq... In case anybody is disagreeing with this, uh, look up the age of consent now to get married in Iran. Uh, was it Iran or I Iraq? I forgot which one. It was Iraq? Excuse me, sorry. Or at least support that fucking war. If we weren't selling bombs to everyone across the planet... Those people wouldn't be being bombed out their homes and having their land just stolen from them because of oil, because of agriculture, yeah. because of water and everything else. They'd be happily sitting in their homes, most of them. I think that he's probably right about this, is that interventionism definitely made this worse. I think that it probably would have happened anyway in some circumstances because, like, there's just been wars in the Middle East for 2,000 years, right? So it's not like this is something new. But in general, yeah, 
of course, we, we've like definitely like this is the UK. I'm not sure how much of a role the UK has played, but in America, yeah, we've definitely made it worse. Absolutely, we've made it worse. And they wouldn't be running to anywhere they can possibly get to save their children being blown to fucking smithereens. That's why, and I don't get it why people don't get that. If you have a problem with immigration, I'd have respect for you. If you went out on marches and told the government enough is fucking enough. No more bombing or creating wars in other places. And if we are this power- I feel like that's the way a lot of people believe. And I, I think that there's a problem. I don't know what it's like in the UK because they don't have a two-party system the way that we do. But I would say that there's a lot of people who have the viewpoint that at least I have is that I don't think that like having mass immigration like that is good either. But, oh, we do? You do? Okay. You basically do? Huh. Okay. I, I always hear that you don't. Britain has two parties? Okay. Yeah, again, I don't live there, so I'm not sure. I'm just trying to, you know, this is what I've heard. Uh, but, like, I, I think this is true. I think there's a lot of people that believe that. They don't want mass immigration, and they also don't want interventionism and bombing other countries. Like, how many of you guys feel that way? Like, that's the way I feel. I think that, yeah, absolutely. Full, powerful country. And you are genuinely these powerful, powerful politicians. Take on these other fuckers across the planet and negotiate with them and create peace. It's not going to be easy, but you can at least fucking try. Really, to tackle all these problems, we need to transform society to a socialist one and create like a society where wealth is shared more equally amongst... Oh, jeez. Um, ...with the people that create it, which is the oh. majority of the working class people, you know? Right. The capitalists who own everything. They pit us all against each other along the lines of, like, race, being um, LGBT, men and women, you know what I mean? Like, we're all divided, so we're coming together. Right about that. But more importantly, a sharing of, like, all of the wealth yeah. in the world will kind of do away with that sort of racism, and um, it's not an easy time. She thinks that if people have money, they're not going to be racist? Oh, man but yeah that's why we're here like yeah people are obviously angry and they're all out together so we want to like reach those people mm -hmm. you know it's a hard battle you know i know it's kind of like a um, big task and I, I i know it's not easy but i think like you know like when we fight together we can we can achieve like real real change yeah cool you know we need to build uh, a new party that will like fight to defend the interests of working class people um you know the fact that our nhs is in such a bad state rather than blaming that on this migrants let's right? enter into struggle to services. fight back against the private companies that are making huge profits you know i think the real answer is is, is class struggle you know yeah. uniting as a working class to fight for our, all of our interests that's whether... never going to happen by the way you're never going to get people to unite because of class uh, the reason why it'll never happen is because the general population is too stupid to be able to identify it. Uh, like, so basically, whenever you have to look at, um, like, whether something is going to work or not, you have to look at the lowest common denominator of person and think that if this person can understand this topic or not. I don't think that the average person has, or at least, like, there are so many people that are too stupid to, to understand the like economics of a class struggle so i don't think that you can ever actually make a party of people that are um you know like pushing for like class consciousness or like class solidarity because it's so much easier to convince dumb people that it's just because somebody else is black i don't think that it's ever going to work because i don't think the human mind is capable of it and there's so many people that are stupid that they will prevent it from happening Straight up. I know it's a super doomer perspective, but eat the rich? No. When somebody says eat the rich, what do the rich do? They pay the poor people, one half of the poor people, to kill the other half of the poor people, and then the problem is solved. That's the way it works. You're a migrant worker, British born. You know, it's about building that working class solidarity. I believe in living in a kingdom that's good and true. Mm. That's really cute. That's really cute. What a that that's a wow. That's lovely.
What a good boy. After the Stop the Boats protest and counter protest both dispersed, threats were reported to have been made online by members of the right wing English Defense yep. League targeting a nearby mosque, of course. prompting a standing army of Arab teenagers to assemble with the purpose of standing on business in the event of catastrophe. Well, yep. not all teenagers, but mostly teenagers. In front of the mosque is where guest reporter Sanjay spoke to those youths at the beginning of the video. But there were also many other older community members who showed up to express support and solidarity. We cannot translate racism in this country. We are totally against EDL in their principles and their foundations. They don't want any Muslims to be in this country. This yeah. country needs us. There's no what these people do. Oh, oh, the police. Yo, 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 yo. Relax. Relax. It makes me feel angry. I get, I get frustrated. Yes. But because I am Muslim, I have to be calm about this. You know, I have to be calm. Allahu Akbar. Takbir. <laughs> Yeah, man. The soldiers, the lions of Allah are all out today. Bring the EDL army. We've come to stand They're up. They're going to have a race war, bro. It's crazy. Oh, boy. It's going to be it's gonna be funny to watch. Oh, my God. They really... They, 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 yeah, bro. Like, this shit's going to happen. I think so. Like, I do. I think it's going to happen. This is the Crusades 2.0. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> We're funny. Of course. Against these, yeah, it wouldn't be funny if it was here, I'll tell you that. It'd be awful. Uh, EDL fascists that have come to our mm -hmm. town and that are telling us that how their town's meant to be run when yep. most of them all junkies, smackheads, crackheads, <laughs> and they're not contributing to this community or this society. How are the government letting people like this come here? Well, there's another big problem, and I think the reason why you see a lot of young uh, Muslim like and, and Arab guys here is that a lot of these Arab guys were probably born in the UK. So, like, it, it's like this is a problem that they've, like, inherited. Like, their parents might have come here, and their parents maybe shouldn't have been here, but, like, they didn't do anything wrong. This is their home. They live here. So, like, how do you deal? Yeah, three generations? Yeah, exactly, right? Because we have this here in, in, in Texas, okay? Like, the, you know what Texas used to be called? Mexico. So this has been a bit of contention with a lot of people. And so you have people that are like, yeah, well, you're like, it's like you're not speaking English or like you're not really American. But like, what are we really talking about here? Like your your family, your dad was born here. You were born here. Your name is Eric. And, you know, it might be Eric, uh, you know, Garcia or Eric uh, Hernandez. But it's still Eric. Like, yeah, let's be honest. Right. And so Eric Sanchez, yeah, exactly. And so we have the same problem here with people that have been born here. And so like they've kind of inherited kind of like an original sin where it's like this problem has been created by like bad leadership in the past. And so you have a group of guys like these Muslims and these Arab guys that were just born here. And they're like, well, I didn't fucking do anything wrong. I just spawned here. Like I, I didn't do that. Like what the fuck? And so then you have other people that are like, it's not the same. Uh, but yeah, it, it's kind of though, right? It's, it's kind of. And so like, you can easily see how this happens. Easily. I, I like, you guys see what I'm saying, right? Like why they would be angry? Because of course they would feel that way. There were minor problems in the past decades. Past 10 years has been way worse. Yeah. It's not their fault. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they've like inherited this, like, uh, th this problem that's been going on for years. The difference is that they don't integrate, but they live in their isolated communities. Sure. Yeah. And I do think that it's not a one to one. OK. And actually, it kind of is like here in at least here in Austin, like there is definitely the places where like they accept pesos. Like I, I go to um, there's a pizza place here. It's called Pizza Patron. <sighs> bro, they used to sell in, in, in high school, bro. They sold a large pizza four dollars like me and my friend, bro. We would do two and two. And we would get ourselves a fucking large pizza and we'd split it. Oh my God, it was good. And they accepted pay. Yeah, $4, bro. And it was good. Yeah, that was, uh, that. what the fuck what was that? That was Bush. That wasn't even Obama, bro. That was Bush. And so, yeah, no, I mean, like, uh, w w what I'm trying to get at, right, is that even here we have, like, entire separate cultures, like, I think in Vancouver, there's, like, separate, like, Asian and Chinese cultures as well that don't really assimilate with the rest of the area. So this isn't a UK-exclusive problem. Like, we have this same issue here. Yeah, nothing to do with Bush? No, I was just saying, like, he was the president then.
Like I'm I'm not I'm not <laughs> did Bush tell Pizza Patron to make four dollar pizzas? No, I no, I didn't think he did that. I don't think he did that, no. And cause a disturbance. We've got to stand up to them. Mm -hmm. We've got to show them that we're not scared of them. We ain't backing down from no one. It's fucking the low scum. And then you've got officers like this here swearing at us, calling us fucking fannies and this and that, where he thinks he's bad with a bat in his hand. Put everything down, man to man. Arrest me after that, no problem. Our minorities are looking after the country, and this is how we get treated. We don't get deserve to get treated like fucking shit. Yo, we're fucking equal to everyone. And this, this is the problem, right? Is like if you look at it from his perspective. It makes a lot of sense. This is the problem. It's like from his perspective, he's a guy who was probably born here. He spawned here. What the fuck did he do wrong? You see what I'm saying? Like if you look at it, and again, like it might say, yeah, but you shouldn't be here. But like that's not going to matter to him because it's not, it, that's his life. This is a very, it's a very big problem. The sins of his father? Exactly, yeah. You're assuming a lot of things, but sure. I don't know. Do you guys think I'm probably on point with this? That a lot of these guys probably grew up in Britain and they, they lived here pretty much their whole life? I bet a lot of them probably have, especially the younger guys. Any of the guys under 25? I feel like, yeah, it's probably the case with many of them. Sure, because it's only what makes sense. I could be wrong with some of them, though. Hey, I'm probably wrong with some over here why do you think race matters to them i don't know they've got nothing better to do they've no logic they're brainwashed that's what it is they're brainwashed they don't know what's going on they've got one leader called tommy robinson that they all go off while all these idiots have been uh, rioting you, they don't know tommy robinson has fled the country so you're all out for the cause here and the leader isn't even in the country he can't live in his own country that he loves so much. So, so is violence the answer? Violence isn't the answer. Love's the answer. Violence is not the answer. But our religion tells us to stand up against kuffars that are not merciful, that are zalims, that are kuffars. And that's why we've come here together to stand together. There's people like Jews that stand with us. There's Christianities that stand with us. There's Hindus that stand with us. Pan the camera. You can see thousands of us are here. We are protecting the mosques that happen in Stoke in Sunderland, in Liverpool, in many other towns. But we're standing as one because we want what's right. We want peace. We are fighting for what's right. Stay united. Come together. Protect your mosque. Protect your families. If they are coming down to hunt you, to, to kill you, to, to, to trouble you, please do a self-defense. Defend yourself and defend your ideology and restrict them in your cities, in your towns. If you don't do that one, they will come to your house and they will chase you. Channel 5 Live Worldwide. Hollywood and Vine. Fuck the authority. Channel yeah, but the other guys are Channel racist. You heard five. the word he just we said. We don't fuck with Custers. What's and this? Five is the best number. Next question. Well, that's a wrap. I I'll, hope you enjoyed our first one. ever Channel 5 video shot on the royal foreign soil of the UK. I think Sanjay, Graham, and them did a great job. And yeah, I look I think forward this is to really them good. shooting more documentaries this is a great in the video. Future. Perhaps next time I'll even go there myself. And on that note, and I know I never <laughs> do this, but if you have any ideas about what you'd like to see Channel 5 cover in either England, Scotland, Ireland, or Northern Ireland, leave a comment below and let me know. Have a nice day. There it is. Everything I'm about to say is 100%. Um, Look, yeah, yeah. What, I mean, like, again, it's just like, let the people speak for themselves. The other people are racist. You hear the word he said. So what, what, what are you accusing me of? What am I being accused of now, Jody? Uh, I'm just curious. Kafar is not a racial term. It means non-believer. I mean, uh, I'm just curious when I, uh, no, I, I trolled. I misheard him. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, um, I think that there's racists on both sides. I bet some of these guys are genuinely racist and they do want to make everybody in Britain Muslims. I think they probably are there. Absolutely. Of course that makes sense. Of course there's people like that. Absolutely. It's not even a question. And I think there's probably some people here who, if they found out that a new Adolf was running, they'd go vote for him. Absolutely. fucking lutely A hundred percent this is what's happening. Like, it's not like we have to talk around this, right? I mean, like, it's just the truth. Let me link you guys to video. Andrew does such a great job with these videos. Make sure to give it a like. Give him a sub if you haven't already. Yeah, these are so, so good. Both sides are being radicalized slowly. Yeah, I think they are. I, I think they're being very strongly radicalized. That's the ultimate goal of Islam. Uh, churches are replaced with mosques regularly in England. Yeah, and, and that's the way that people see it, right? Of course. The extremists are hiding behind normal people. I think that most normal people can be turned into extremists really easily. It's super easy to make people extremists.
It's not even like you have to do anything crazy, right? I mean, look how much, like, for example, how Trump radicalized things in the U.S., right? And look at Obama. Obama was very radicalizing, too. His brainwashing seems to be easier to do nowadays than ever. Well, the problem is that both of these groups of people have, like, a handful of le legitimate grievances, right? Where, like, for example, they think that they're being, there's, like, policing and, like, they're not releasing the names of the people that are committing crimes because they're worried that it could stoke racial hatred or something like that. Uh, and, and this does obviously bother people and it's unfair and it's basically the media trying to push an agenda and not letting the people think for themselves, uh, not to mention using government funds to help migrants and people that are not assimilating into the culture. Like these are all legitimate problems, right? Of course, people are going to see that somebody who's poor, who doesn't have any fucking money, who like has, you know, their family's been in the UK for, you know, 500, a thousand years, uh, and then they're born and, you know, the, like now they're an adult. And their money, their tax money is being sent to like some like immigrant or migrant. Well, they're not going to think that's fair. They're going to think that's fucking bullshit, right? Especially if it's an illegal immigrant or something like that. Somebody that's not even supposed to be there. So yeah, of course they're going to think that's bullshit. Like, absolutely. And, and, and on the contrary, like with these guys, right? A lot of these guys were probably born in the UK. They don't, they didn't inherit, like they inherited basically the sins of their parents or their grandparents and like they're saying yeah go back to where you came from and they're like fuck i was born here like what the fuck so no i i think this is absolutely uh it, it's absolutely very complicated yeah it's religion yeah no i think religion is a component to it but what i'm saying is that both sides of these people have legitimate grievances and i don't think that it's a uh I don't think it's like super clean cut. I I don't care what happens in the UK. Two days in, I love it. Well, hey, I, I love watching how things play out, but I'm just not emotionally affected by it, if that makes sense, right? I'm second generation. To be honest, I agree with the tax. 40% of my income goes to bullshit. Yeah, you're assuming that they're all illegal. I don't think that you have to assume that. What you have to do is you have to put yourself in the mind of another person and think about it the way that they would think about it. See, a lot of people make this, they, they make a really big mistake when they try to think like another person is they try to put themselves in the shoes of that other person. And putting yourself in the shoes of another person is not really thinking like that other person. You're not really trying to understand how they feel. You're trying to understand how you would feel if you were them. But what I'm saying is that you have to think about how they feel and the, the information that they're thinking about. So just because you think that this is a fact and just because you think, well, this isn't fair or this is whatever, that doesn't really matter whenever you're looking at it from the perspective of someone other than yourself. You have to look at it from the way that they see it and what they look at it from, because that's what matters. You have to find out how they reach their conclusion. Yeah, exactly. I think that's the case. I don't like blaming sins of the father, but at the same time, many of these people refuse to reject their values. Their parents brought them over to assimilate. It's hard not to. Sure, right? And and like that's what I'm saying. It's very complicated. And I, I, I do think that they will probably... I, I, I think this will keep getting worse. I do. I think this will get worse and worse and worse. You have no idea what Europe has to deal with? It's nothing like in America? Yeah, you're right. I don't. No, I, I'm just I'm just watching videos about it, talking about it. I, I I don't really understand it. You're right. Why the fuck do they expect Muslims to act like Christians? Because they're in a Christian country, and they want their country and their culture to be the same. So they want people to come into the culture and be Christian because that's their culture. It's pretty simple, right? Like it, I I understand that like this is like oh you're not supposed to say this, but like that's the truth, right? That's obviously what's happening. That's obviously why they're mad. Yeah, they want to preserve their culture. Yeah, that's clearly the reason why. Everybody can see that. Culture is not religion. It absolutely is. It 100% it is. Yes, it is. No, I see it better. Thanks for that. Yeah, I know these types of people. The guy uh, said they're a bunch of junkies. Is also a junkie. I know it. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? They leave their countries because it's bad to make the place they go to the same. Sure, right? And like, again, this isn't really my issue or whatever. I don't really live there. That's retarded. If you come to our country, you have to adopt the same religion and culture. Yeah, that's pretty much what people think. Yeah. Yeah, is, is, that, is that hard for you to understand? Yeah, they want people that come to the country to be the same as the people that were already there. Absolutely.
yes, that's what they want. They want them to assimilate into the culture, and if they don't, they want to kick them out. How is this so shocking for you to hear? On which side of the issue would you expect a super extreme candidate to come from? I would expect it to come from a, uh, what do you call it? To come from, uh, like, the, like, native people, right? The, uh, the people at the beginning. Like, I don't know what you would call these people, right? But the, like, anti-immigration, like, white people, basically, right? I could easily see them pushing up a candidate that's, like, super ultra-nationalist. And to be honest with you, I don't think that they would win the first time. Like, you've got to keep in mind, Hitler didn't win the first time either, whenever he tried to take over. Um, I don't know about Lenin. Uh, I, I just, I don't have enough knowledge about that. I think that Lenin didn't, didn't pop off the first time either. Like, he got put in jail, and then, like, finally he came back, and then they finally got him, right? And so, uh, yeah, it took him a while. He did? Did he, did he do it the first time? Yeah. And so, uh, either way, um, it will take some time for maybe this to take hold, but I think that that's what will happen. Nigel Farage keeps losing. Nigel Farage isn't the type of extremism that I'm talking about. Nigel Farage is like, uh, like 10% of what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm just saying like Nigel Farage is not as extreme as the, the person I'm, I'm imagining. Like the closest person that I could like, who, who would be a good parallel? I think Duarte from the Philippines, maybe. Like maybe that's a good parallel, but even that I don't think is extreme enough. Putin? No, I don't think Putin either. Nigel Farage isn't an extremist? No, no not compared to the people that, that, that you could see pop off, right? But anyway, yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, that's my opinion on it. And uh, I'm actually really curious to see how this plays out. I'm super curious to see it.